have we lay our lives we lay our lives before you Lord we love have you we lay
worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you all the honor. There is none like you, Father. You are the only true God. Jehovah the Messiah, King of glory. We worship you, Father of angels. Father of holy angels. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We worship you, Father of lights. Ramakatsamodimomatlaose. We thank you, Father. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I greet you all in the name that is above all names, in the name of Jesus Christ. All the pastors, all the church workers, the ministries of well help, and everyone that loves the Lord, that loves the house of the Lord that are working tirelessly wherever you are. And everyone who is watching at your home, in your car, wherever you might be, may the Lord bless you as you listen to the word of the Lord. May the Lord bless you. I'm continuing with the subject, the benefit of Christ, part two. I hope you were able to listen last, uh, last time you were with me as I was taking you through the scriptures in the book of Matthew chapter 11. Uh, we read from verses 28 to 29. And today I want to take you uh, to verses 30. Verses 30, it says, For the yoke I will give you it's easy and the load I will put on you is light for the yoke I will give you is easy and the load I will give you I'll put on you is light yes what does this scripture says to us it says the yoke of Jesus is easy. If it's not easy, it means it's not his. He says, I will put the, this load upon you. The one that I'm going to put will be light. If it's not light, it's not his. Yes. If it's not, if it's not easy, it's not his. If it's not light, it's not his. With other translation, it says, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Let me read it with amplified version. The amplified version, and I'm reading from uh, verses 30 of Matthew chapter 11 and I'm reading from verses um, maybe perhaps let me start from verses 28 and I'll just come down with it so that those of you who were not here last week you can be able to refresh from where we're coming from it says come to me all who are weary and heavily burdened by religious rituals that provides no peace and I will give you rest refreshing your souls with salvation take my yoke upon you and learn from me following me as my disciple for I am gentle and humble in, in heart and you will find rest, a renewal, blessed, quite, quite for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear and my burden is light. 
My yoke is easy to bear and my burden is light. Beloved, we are favored. Others, other, other way of putting it is that we are graced by God. Yes, there might be terrible things that are going on in this world that are really frustrating and tiring and that are uh, confusing out there. But if you look to the whole world, you'll see that there is something great that God has done amongst all other things that are terrible, that are happening, that the enemy is doing. But God has done great and marvelous things by giving us Jesus, who is the light of the world. When you think and see what God has done for us, you will see that God is indeed gracious. That in the midst of burdens and the midst of darkness, the light of God shone in us. The light is shining even today so graciously to all of us so that we can live a glorious life in the midst of crookedness, in the midst of evil and wickedness of this world. Yes, God has made us to live peaceful and, 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 and restful while people are crying, while people are complaining. We have found rest in Christ. Amazulbati gui toala, ucheso i toala le tu seleguye. And, uh, siguye, and we are resting. We have seen from the book of St. Matthew, who he was one of the disciples of Christ, who was a tax collector, who was in the system of the Roman Empire, you know, corrupting people and taking tithes. I mean, a, a taxes, you know, double pay from them, from the people at that time. And Jesus Christ came when the people were under the load and heaviness of the law, the Torah, the religious rituals and the laws of the Old Testament, the people were under the heavy burden of the laws during that time. And at the same time, they were under the law of the Roman Empire. They were under the oppression of the Roman colonization at that time. And they were waiting, looking for someone who can rescue them from all of that. And they knew from the prophets that the prophet prophesied that there will be a Messiah who will come, who will deliver them from uh, those powers of darkness. But we thank God that Jesus Christ came. And when he came, he did not, you know, beat around the bush. He spoke to them straight. And we hear from the scripture, the Bible says, Jesus said, come to me. Pointing them to himself. As his disciples today, we are pointing people to Jesus. That come to Christ, everything will be fine. Because you see, life, it's, it, it repeats itself. The challenges that were there in the Roman times in 2,000 years ago, they come to us in different formats, but still, they are still oppressive, uh, you know, foundation and formats that are coming in. And the solution is still the same. The solution is Christ Jesus. Yes, you might be very tired with the system of the religious rituals. You feel that you cannot bear it anymore. You've been following these rituals, you know, forever, and you feel that this thing is too much. Jesus came for those people who are, who are bound by religious laws, religious, you know, uh, laws that are there bounding and making them to be tired. Jesus came for such, so that he can refresh them and revive them. And I'm here to tell you that mchambe lao konza kona uya mangala yinu katele ganje ganje lalela ifu katala o katele ngenga yo konza kshuti leyo nkonzo aksi nkonzo kacheso nguba enkonzo nkacheso katalo 
kathala kuphela laba bangekho enkonzweni ka Jesu siyakubiza ke sithi oza ku Jesu hlambe you are asking how can i be tired while i'm going i am religious of course christianity is not a religion but it's a relationship between god and man when you are in relationship with god you will never be tired because god is a refresher himself he is life himself so when you are with him and you are in his presence you'll be refreshed all the time now those laws that are making people to tired is because people are following a religious and human regulations that were stipulated by men khatetse ke di tired dialotsa o bleletse ke mprofita o rutsa maolo etsang o roba o lo etsa ka o roba le ka o etseng o jeng o tsikang jang o no tefeng o tsikang wa tefeng o no oil efeng o etse jwang and uh, it seems like it's very very tired and now it is time that you 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 feel you really feel that you 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 need you need you need refreshing you really need to come to the lord you need something that can really really tra- transform your life and make you different and that is why i'm here to call each and every one really those that are going through challenges of religious religious uh, uh, rituals but uye uye uwe usuke la uye kwenye indawo khona manzi la ukumela ungena khona ufike khona ubhukute noma ubhabhadise khona seven times mo phuma lapho zoba right phume lapho bathi kumele uyopetiwa bathi kumele ufake bhavu bathi usuke la ungene ukenywe methi ukenye spate ara uthwa mo uthano tulophuta ufuthiwe awuketa ufuthi bare utsane tulo okwamela mezi ya dikuku kai kai mezi ya dikhoku madi ya dikhoku ba ufafathe ka madi ya dikhoku o khatetse ke madi ya dikhoku uhlwa lo yena uri usetse ongkha khoku fela ongkhali puli ongkhali khomu because i sale ho tlhabiwa ho tlhabiwa ba re go tlaloka empa saluke ai salu khatetse ke di washo salu etu wa ke di washo thapa ga di washo tsa tlele mbare itsatse ka di washo se ka robala ka di kobo tla rautu wa senyama tla be street we tsatse tse ka di ka di food ka di ka di washo tsatse tse ka di oil wa tsatsa ka mitsidi wa tsatsa ka di thar this is a call kipito ya batho ba o khatetse ke di thar au kena ha ha yo sakena ke iting o nkhaditlhare go nkhaditlhare mo mnyako kena o kena ka merengwe le o nkhaditlhare le didi a paro tsa ha e di nkhaditlhare beke e nkhaditlhare e le koloi e nkhaditlhare e tshongo le yangwe ke ditlhare au kena ofisi nya ha yo nkhaditlhare e di nkhathwe point mo le gore le yena sa di utlwa di tlhar maro one thing for sure ke gore o khathetse o khathetse wa utlwa lo yena o rwa tswa ke nke khathetse ha ke sa e batlang thwela mhlomong you've been drinking on drinking because of stress you've been drinking because of stress you know and depression but now even now you feel that you know you the more you drink the more the stress then the depression come maybe you are no longer even getting drunk yeah no longer getting drunk at all and uh, you are you are thank you you are really really feeling stressful even before because you can't even afford to buy that alcohol you cannot buy it so the, 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 you know before you used to buy uh, the most expensive one because they said is the the healthy one but you see now you can't afford because they say the cheaper you you drink it, the more dangerous it is now tone to lo no bo chibuku jwa tone to lo ja bo lo no bo chibuku 
Diana pa ona di katu bar katu ni atlisi atusa because e shapa tavo how we know our hora at the same time eh you fatip sinya bar jano o khate ziko khuri sa katu o khate kila bana karo na ayo kha ayo ya o khuri sa ibile you tip se mari o shapa mauto you shapa sfashe o you chencha se fashe o bona ka o fela ba inwa ma chencha le mile ya bona ya o bona ba tsama se ba tsama ma ba tha ba tsama slow ya ha ha ire o sane dintho tsa le fatse dia o munyulla ya dia o ditla o tabola ditla o trapa ditla o shapa o tlo o bo o so bona ke mang le mang o ra same table le lento same tradile same same o tradile ma men so ga tshetse ke ba kala ba sadi khatetsi ke ba kala banna ba se ba khathaditse e bile to a point there so kenya the sleepers o tsamaya ke nthwengwe bima because of the totally fast you know ole a queen of this world ba o ba tlaka mo le ka mo hona no o mongolo mong o ba tlela ko gole kwa o khathetsi ke wena mongera ba tna e travel se fike ba tna se spogo nga so spogela la ngazo mo nugelo ya bona na bantu kuthi ma usondela ba bona ukathi uyanuka ba bona ka re wankha ona le sitinwa because of you know what everything and we is a if it let to an end din total fat ka ufela kuna le modification to an end yes there is a time where they come to an end now i'm here to tell you that there is a solution for that my topic is that that are benefit in Christ last week i emphasized where christ said come to me you who are heavily burden i will give you rest jesus said you who who who, who are tired who are weary from carrying the heavy loads god does not want you to carry heavy loads in this world there are things that It's only God who can carry them. That is why in the book of 1 Peter, the Bible says, "Cast your burdens unto Jesus, for he cares for you." Whatever that is heavy that you are carrying, it's supposed to be carried by God. That is why when anything that comes on your way, as the 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 the, the, the apostle Paul speaks in the uh, book of of Philippians, uh, Philippians chapter 4, he says, "Don't worry about everything but in prayer bring everything to God in supplication so that he can give you peace and take all the burdens unto him therefore beloved it is important to know that Jesus once has come to carry our burdens as much as he came to carry our sins and went on the cross for six hours he was bleeding for six hours Yes he was carrying the burden of the world and he died for the for the sin of the world why so that everyone who has committed all the sins when they believe in him they may get all the forgiveness of the sins and that that Jesus Christ may relieve you and that Jesus Christ may refresh you and Jesus Christ may give you rest he give you rest of your soul our souls come from God and our soul rejoices when we live for god our soul rejoices when we we are we are doing the will of god our souls rejoices when we keep the will of god when we live in obedience but when we live in sin our souls get frustrated they suffer they get injured they get torn they get they get frustrated therefore that that is why jesus was calling us because he knows that man is not only physical but a man is also a spirit that lives in the flesh yes you might look fresh in your body but in your spirit you are torn apart you are torn apart you are torn up in pieces you are in different ways you are confusing you are confused confused confusion is upon your life i am here to call you you say but this it looks like it's only about sinners no it's only about also about christians who are not living in obedience that are backslidden or those who are who are living double lives 
you are living a double life. If you live double life, you will not find rest in your life. Jesus came that you may be happy. Therefore, if you are a Christian and you are not finding joy in your life, you need to check and evaluate your life. You need to do an introspection within you and see if you are really, really enjoying your life. It says, come to me, all of you who are tired from carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest, a rest in yourself, a rest with people. You will have rest. It says, take my yoke and put it on you and learn from me. Because I am gentle and I'm humble in spirit, and uh, you will find you will find rest beloved jesus christ is calling us to come to his yoke a yoke it's a system a structure that makes you to follow a certain a, a certain lifestyle or a pattern of lifestyle it was put on oxen to to be led to wherever the person who rides them wants them to be it was on their neck. Therefore, in this world, it's either you are on a, on a yoke of the enemy or you are on the yoke of the Lord. You cannot be a free bed or a free person. Therefore, he's calling us to his yoke. He says, my yoke, it is easy. Meaning, it's the system that is easy because the laws are, that are there, it's for our benefits at the end of the day. It is that they are there to benefit our lives. You are not just giving laws to, to be oppressed. You are not just giving laws to, to make your life to be uh, frustrated. Jesus Christ, when he speaks about his mission, when he speaks about his purpose, he says in John chapter 10, verses 10, the thief cometh to only in order to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I have come in order that you might have life and life life in all its fullness yes jesus came that we might have life and have it in all its fullness the other translation says i've come that you might have life and have it more in abundance and have it more in abundance acts chapter 10 verse 38 the bible says you know about jesus of nazareth and how god poured out on him the holy spirit and power he went everywhere doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil for God was with him. Yes, Jesus Christ came. Yes, he doing good. He came doing good. Even today, the benefit of Jesus is to do good in your life, making, uh, doing healing, the Bible says, uh, healing all who were under the power of the devil of the devil if the devil is under you if he's oppressing you jesus christ will deliver you from the power of the devil yes if you are not sleeping if you are you are going through challenges deep things that which you cannot deliver yourself jesus christ can deliver you from the power of the devil luke chapter 4 verses 18 to 19 the bible says the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has chosen me to bring good news to the poor. Good news to the poor. If you are poor, there is good news in Jesus. He has sent me to pro proclaim liberty to the captive. Liberty to the captive. If you are in captivity, Jesus Christ has come for uh, freedom. And a recovery of sight to the blind. If you are blind spiritually, Jesus is there to bring sight so that you can see uh, things that are hidden so that you can be able to see that which has been uh, you are not seeing before. To set free the oppressed and announce the time has come where the Lord will save his people. These are the benefits of Christ to set up, uh, to set liberty to those who are uh, oppressed. If you are oppressed, depressed, if you are going through 
a situation like that, Jesus Christ wants you to be free. John chapter 16, verses 24, the Bible says, Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, so that your happiness may become complete. Yes, to be in Christ, one of the benefits is so that your happiness may be complete. Other translation says, your joy may be complete or may be fulfilled. He has come that our joy may be fulfilled. Because you don't have, at the moment, God wants us to pray. Meaning in order for you to see things beginning to happen to your, time, to your life. Spend time in prayer. Telling God your need. Telling God the things that you need in your life. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says if you call and, and ask in the name of Jesus. Indeed you will see. You will receive and your joy will be fulfilled. John chapter 14 verses 27. It says peace is what I leave with you. It is my own peace that I give you. I do not give as the world does. Do not be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. afraid. Yes, God does not want us to be afraid. Afraid about COVID-19. You know, No, know that the divine God, the powerful one, the omnipotent one is there. Who does the impossibilities to become possible? Yes. He says, peace I give unto you. And this peace is not the peace that the world has. He gave us peace that is amazing. And I'm here, beloved, to say to you, you shall receive peace. I've seen that there is nothing so important in this world than having peace within yourself and having peace with God. Oh, what a great thing, knowing that wherever you are, God is with you. Even in the, the shadow of death, you know God is there. Even in death itself, God is there. For the angels will take you and take you to paradise. We know, you know, I was talking to one uh, old lady today. And, 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 and was telling me, you know, she was uh, uh, infected with COVID. And by the grace of God, uh, she's now healed. And she said, you know, one thing uh, that I'm glad of, that even in my old age, uh, I know that if I die where I am going, what a privilege in life to know that if you die where you are going. She was so content. She was in peace. He knew that God will take her to his place. Yes, Psalm 103 verses 2 to 5. The Bible says, praise the Lord, my soul, and do not forget how kind he is. Yes, don't forget how kind the Lord is. The Lord is very kind. He said, I am gentle and humble. Yes, he says, he forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. He heals all diseases, including covid 19. Yes, in the world there might not be a healing for COVID-19 or HIV, but according to the kingdom of God, God heals all diseases. He is kind and He is a marvelous and glorious God. He keeps me from the grave and blesses me with love and mercy. He fills my life with good things so that I stay young and strong like an eagle. What a wonderful God. What a wonderful God. He heals us from all our diseases. What, a, what is a glorious thing, a glorious thing. He forgives our sins so that we may be free from guilt and have peace in our lives. And the Bible says he, 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 he blesses us with love and mercy, meaning goodness and mercy follow us wherever we go. We know that favor it is our portion and it's always there with our lives. And he fills my life with good things and he keeps us from 
the grave. Meaning, you will not die before your time, before you reach your destiny. You, he is the one who keeps us from the grave that we may not die before we reach our destinies. He filled my life with good things so that I stay young. Yeah, there are creams in this world that people put that makes them to become young. But there's something that is more than a cream. Yes, Jesus Christ, when you are in him, he keeps you young. That's why a, a Christian who lives closer to Christ, they, you, can't de, you can't actually detect their age. Mom Peggy, Lobona, I do man. Because Uche is when Uti, I do then ta pupuma. You become more young and strong. He gives you strength so that you can stay like an eagle. John chapter 5, verses 24 says, I'm telling you the truth. Those who hear my word and believe in him, in me, who sent me, have eternal life. They will not be judged, but have already passed from death to life. To be in Christ. The benefit of being in Christ is that you are not going to judgment. You are not going to be judged to go to hell, to go to the lake of fire. But you have passed from death to life. You have passed from death. The day your body and your spirit, they depart, you will not feel the pain. The angels will come, take your soul, your spirit, and they will fly with you to heaven to go and meet with Jesus and enter into heaven to rest forever and to die no more and no pain, no tears. And you'll enter in knowing that you are entering into the rest forever and ever. As we accept him as our Lord and our Savior, we enter into rest. And he kept us warm. That's why we say we are saved. Then, as we continue to serve him, we continue to live in joy and in rest. And finally, when we die, we enter into the final rest. Come to Jesus. There are benefits of being in Christ. And he wants everyone to come in. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. May the Lord bless you and the Lord strengthen you and the Lord keep you. May the Lord Make you grow and understand His will in all levels. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us forevermore. Surely goodness and mercy, signs and wonders shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Amen.